Let me be clear. Our goal here is to find and retrieve our missing comrade, Apatia. This place reeks of Zaitan's touch, so don't take unnecessary chances. Stay alert. We move fast, we stick to the surface, and we stay together. Let's begin. As I feared, the water's toxic. Stay out of these waters. I recognize the stench of this particular Orion corruption. It's more toxic than any poison. I wonder if that's what happened to the Great. When I was here before, they were swarming over this whole place. We can't assume they're gone. If the corruption killed them, they likely rose as fresh undead. Follow me, everyone. Single file, and watch your step. I don't want anyone falling into this water. the only thing protecting these crates from Zaitan's influence. Now it will be
presence I sensed is up this beam. It may be the source of all this corruption. I see her. She's in that beam. We'll have to climb down to reach her. There should be a beam connecting to her cage. By the Pale Tree, Zaitan's corruption has claimed Apatia as well as the crate. Is she aware? Is Apatia still in there suffering? Or is she just a mindless husk? Either way, this is a cruel end for a noble hunter. It doesn't have to be the end. Having an undead captive to study, especially one we knew well, could be a huge boon to the Pact. Don't be ridiculous. There's nothing here that we couldn't get from any one of a thousand other undead. Apatia's gone, and we have to set her spirit free. And when we're done here, we travel to Holbrook to tell her legend to the Scalds so she'll be remembered forever. That is the Norn way. Very well. Apatia admired you greatly, Commander, so you should be the one to put her to rest. Then, to Holbrook. Spirits of the wild guide you to the mists. Marshal Treherne, should we accompany you to Holbrook? Not necessary. You three return to Fort Trinity. The commander and I will take it from here. Hear me, Holbrek. I sing of Apatia and the legend she forged. She was many things. A lion guard, a soldier, a hero, a friend. She joined the pact because fighting one dragon was not enough. She was determined to fight them all. Jormag, Zaitan, and any that follow. She repeatedly proved her valor and worth at Claw Island killing scores of undead and saving hundreds of innocent lives. Moreover, she helped recover an artifact that now shields Fort Trinity from Zaitan's influence. She gave us the footing we need to strike down the dragon. Apatia's life ended on that mission, but her glorious legend lives on. Now, hear the words of the last person to fight by her side. Commander? Let the bards sing and the skulls proclaim her glorious name forever. Join me now, until the shiver peaks themselves ring with the sound. Apatia. Apatia! Hail Apatia! Hail Apatia! 